know how it feels, and I would like to help other people, because I just hate when people um, bully me. McKenna Perez's classmates rejected her because she was different. Tonight, we're taking you on her journey, what she went through and how she got help, and what a surgeon is doing to help children like McKenna free of charge. She sat down to tell her story to ABC 4's really Noah Bond. McKenna Perez is a bright, bubbly fourth grader who loves 4-H and reading, but she also has an obvious secret. Her right ear folds down on itself. Now, that didn't bother her, but what did is how some of her classmates reacted. They would say that I just had a weird ear and that um, some people wouldn't let me play with them because of my ear. Really? For a long time, she kept the pain to herself. A lot of times she didn't tell us anything was going on. Um, we really didn't know a whole lot of the interaction that was going on at school. She was always at home, happy, bubbly. It was a lot through the teachers that we found out. McKenna was born with an ear defect, no ear canal, no eardrum, and her outer ear was folded over on itself. Surgeries performed at four and five years old failed to stand her outer ear up. So she was referred to facial plastic surgeon Dr. Stephen Mobley, who has a story of his own. I was born with sort of uh, abnormally shaped ears. In my case, they stuck away from my head a pretty good amount. Kids called him names in middle school, but it stopped when he grew his hair out. This worked until Tom Cruise made short hair popular in the 80s. Once I could no longer hide it, I wanted to have it addressed. A two-hour procedure later, and his ears were pinned back. I was amazed how relatively easy having surgery was. Their attention-grabbing ears welded a bond between McKenna and Dr. Mobley. The two understood one another's pain and how name-calling and awkward stares hurt. I was very, like, um, self-conscious about my ear. When we come back, we'll tell you about McKenna's surgery and reveal her new ear. Before the break, we introduce you to McKenna Perez, a fourth grader with an obvious secret. Her right ear folded over on itself, which didn't bother her, but rejection from her classmates did. McKenna Perez and her parents asked facial plastic surgeon Stephen Mobley to fix her outer ear. Most of my surgeries have just been trying to get it to stand up. But surgeries performed at four and five years old failed. These are pictures taken by McKenna's mom just before the two surgeries were performed by Dr. Mobley. The first was three years ago. We put in some permanent strong stitches that would unfold the ear, making it more vertically correct. A second and final surgery followed last March. So we used a special smoothing sanding drill device. McKenna remembers how nervous she was waiting for the bandages to come off. Then she looked in the mirror. I'm just so happy that Dr. Mobley has fixed it. I'm very proud. I'm just, I like to pull my hair back now. I think it's amazing from what I've had in the past. Tonight, Dr. Mobley is reaching out to other young children with large ears or with ear defects like the one McKenna had. He wants to perform this surgery free of charge through his nonprofit organization, the Mobley Foundation, but he needs to find the right candidate. We can help children. There's no cost if you qualify. And it's literally just there just to help kids not be bullied and teased, not go through what I went through. And that's our biggest goal. Qualifying for the Mobley Foundation is simple. If your child receives free or reduced lunches at school, he or she can get this operation free of charge. Reporting from the studio, Noah Bond, ABC4 News. If you would like to refer a child to the Mobley Foundation, go to our website, abc4.com, 